You know, for more than 100 years, we've known that DNA is the molecule that encodes the information for all the characteristics or the traits of an organism. But genome is all the DNAs in the body of an organism. So like for example, in humans, turns out there's about 3 billion letters of DNA that make up the genome. And uh, so one of the major things that the biologists do is try to figure out if I'm interested in some trait like my color of my hair, what part of those 3 billion letters encode the information for say the color of my hair, color of my eye, shape of my face, and things like that. Or if you're interested in disease, like for example, autism, there might be various parts of those 3 billion letters that uh, create risk for autism. So that's the major job of biologists to try to figure out what part of the genome is important for encoding the information for the trace of interest. In early 1990s, a group of people had this really ambitious idea. And the idea was that maybe instead of like starting with the trace and figuring out what pieces of those 3 billion letters encode the information, let's start with those 3 billion letters and figure out all those letters first. So this is called sequencing. And if we sequence the all of 3 billion letters, maybe we can start from the ground up and figure out for every piece of those 3 billion letters what trait that it encodes. So now we know, in fact, all those 3 billion letters. And so what we want to do in genomics is to, from the ground up, uh, do things like other kinds of experiments, computational modeling, data analysis, all kinds of things to try to figure out what traits each one of those pieces of the 3 billion letters encode. So including things like human diseases. Now, the original human genome project cost billions of dollars. These days, we can se sequence one human genome for under $1,000. It's just incredible the amount of efficiency we've uh, gained through technological development. So genomics is about building the principles of life from ground up by understanding the sequences and what the information sequences encode. It involves technology development, modeling, computation, lots uh, uh, of uh, systematic experimentation, and putting all this information into understanding all the traits in any organism.